Welcome to the Weeb Lounge, and this is our review of Berserker class character Penticelia. Celia? Celia? The Amazon girl with the great abs. Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and Penicillia is one of those characters that no, I don't really know where I want to stand on her. She has her utility. She hits harder than most of your four-star berserkers. And with the Amazonas CEO event coming up soon, might have bit passed by the time you see this video, maybe she got an upgrade, maybe she's a little bit more utilitarian now, not sure. So this is this review is pre Amazon as CEO event, if that even has any bearing. So anyways, first skill. First skill is just an attack uh, up three turns for the whole party. It's kind of nice, plays along well with others, right? Second one, deb debuff immunity for three turns, along with a NP charge every turn for three turns. This one's pretty useful. Um, if you're fighting something that, you know, just constant debuffs, constant stupidity or whatever, she can get some immunity out of it. And the NP charge, uh, if you max out her skill, it's 20% a turn, three turns. That's 60% NP. Now, her regular skills, you know, her, her regular cards, can't really generate NP worth a damn, it seems, half the time, right? If it lines up perfect, it's all good. And her buster actually generates more than her quick, if I recall. Combine that with her skill, she, getting her Noble Phantasm up within three turns shouldn't really be an issue. You should be able to do that, especially with any support characters, right? Her third one is a party buster up for three turns in conjunction with the attack up. It's kind of nice. But the weird thing is it's a, it gives her a self buff for damage versus Greek mythology males. Talk about specific. Maybe during the event it's going to be very relevant. I'll bet it is. But otherwise, that's really specific. That's not going to be useful probably outside of the event or just about any place else. So... It kind of is what it is. Her Noble Phantasm, no fluff, no nothing. It's a single target, and it puts an attack down, debuff on him when she's done beating the crap out of him with chain things. But anyways, let's see her in action. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to give a try is see how much NP she can generate, right? We're going to do her arts, followed by Buster, followed by Quick, see how much she can get. I got my calculator out because, yeah, I suck at math. Unless it's like trig. I had a knack for trig. But basic math, yeah. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hurts, Buster, quick. Starting with 186. Let's see what she ends up with. No crit. And that is 49. Her ability to ge generate, com especially combined with that ability that gives her up to 20% per turn. Now our skills are only like 3, 6, and 3, or 3, 5, and 3. We didn't get her skills up that much. But, she's NP5 for us. And that's what we're going to see now. Let's buff her up a little bit here. Just self buffs only, I'm not going to put anything else up. Now she's over 200% whoop de doo because it only has like an attack down thing. It's not going to do anything else. So let's see. Let's just do this. Oops. <laughs> Self buffed. NP5. 200% charge. 200% charge won't increase her damage at all. It's been a while since we used this character so we get the slow motion. Man. Self buffed single target does 95,000 damage. It's NP5. I gotta say, that's, that's a little disappointing. So, Amazonas with abs, she can put out some hurt. 
is it a lot? Uh, for Four Star Berserker, yeah, she's in the top echelon. I think there's only two other Four Stars currently that has a slightly, and I mean slightly higher attack, max attack at level 80 than the other characters. It's, uh, overall, yeah, she's, she's a nice little single target damage dealer. But the thing is, her survivability, she doesn't have anything that helps her. She's going to be relying on your other servants to support her, keep her alive, etc. So her survivability is complete junk. And with that, and the fact that she's just kind of a typical single target damage dealing berserker that with nothing super terrible special really situational with the greek mythology male thing that it, it, she's an amazonist right it should be like all males or something like that right but no it's not so this character i have to say is a depending on the amazonist ceo event things might change but as for now soft pass what do i mean by soft pass don't try to go for her unless she's in a banner with something else that you kind of want to get. And if you happen to get that other character in a banner before you get Penticelia, don't spend more quartz on her. Just don't. Now, with the event, I mentioned it before, with the event and everything, things could change. She might get a skill upgrade or something. She might get a Noble Phantasm upgrade. I'm hoping and crossing my fingers because this character is right on the line. You know, from that soft pass to a try to get it, right? She's right on the border. And, you know, hey, if, if, if you like a toned girl with abs, I mean, you know, it'll go from the soft pass to, I'm sure, the I need this. Okay, that's, we did. And we got her to MP5. Is what it is. And with that, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, check us out over on twitch.tv slash the Weeb Lounge, and more videos to come.